Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how we can install and, and set up NVIDIA Tensor RT. So make your way to this documentation documentation page by NVIDIA. Just search up Tensor RT NVIDIA install, and it should be the first link right here. After that's done, go to getting started. Now make sure you have one of the following CUDA versions installed. I have 11.6 update 2, so I should be fine. After that, go to number 3 and press on this link. Should take you to a bunch of developer stuff. You need to go through all of that stuff and get to this page where you're able to download. This page, this page right here. I'll be downloading TensorRT version eight, which is the newest one. Agree, agree. I'm downloading the newest version. I'm going to be downloading the package for 11.6 because I have 11.6. I already have it downloaded right now, so I'm not going to install that. After that's done, we need to do the prerequisites before installing this. So if you go to zip file installation, it says you need to make sure you have CUDA NNN 8.4.1. So you need to get to the installation guide and video documentation for CUDA NN. To get to here, just search up CUDA NN install docu and it should be the first link right here so after you've made it to this link go to number three installing CUDA NNN on Windows it's just a bit of a scroll down right here so make sure you have all the stuff correct here go down go down go down installing CUDA NNN installation guide for Windows installing and then you have to register for the NVIDIA developer program. Go to here. So I'm going to open this link. I'm going to go to download CUDA NN. I'm going to agree to the terms of services. And I'm going to download an archived release because according to TensorRT, we need version 8.4.1. So I'm going to get 8.4.1 for CUDA 11, I believe I'm using 11.6 update 2. So it's for Windows, local installer for Windows. Should download the zip folder. After that's done, I can exit out of this page, go back to the install documentation, and follow the steps here. Navigate to your package path, unzip it, and copy the following files into the equivalent NVIDIA files. Okay, so this should be fairly easy. So I'm going to open up a new file. I'm going to go to this PC OS. And it should be located in program files. Scroll down a bit. And you should have NVIDIA GPU Computing Kit Toolkit right here. So this is from when we installed CUDA. Double click on here, double click on here. And here is what they want us to have open. So I'm gonna leave this open. Now I need to follow these steps. So I need to copy to unzipped package. So CUDA NNN for Windows, CUDA NN, move this here, move this here. So it says that I have to copy bin into bin, include into include, and lib into lib. So CUDA NN bin, copy all of this, I'm going to put it in the equivalent CUDA bin just gonna wait it to finish copying place files in destination I already have it installed so I'll just replace the files in destination now once that's done I'm gonna do the same for include so I'm gonna copy all of this 
drag it and drop it in the include of CUDA. We'll replace these files in destination. Do this all for all current items. I already have it installed. And I need to do the same thing for lib. Copy all of this, drag it, and drop it in lib. Replace files in destination. Do this for all current items. Once that's done, I'm going to go back to this page. Select the following environment variable where CUDA NNN is located to access the value of path environment variable and follow the following steps. Add the NVIDIA CUDA bin to path variable. Okay, so we have to add bin to path. To do this, it's fairly easy. So let's unzip CUDA NN. Unzip it, extract all. I'm going to extract it right here, I believe. All we have to do is add the CUDA bin to the path variable. Okay, so here's the extracted CUDA. I'm just going to leave it in my desktop for now, but you can put this anywhere you want on your PC. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to search up environment, edit environment system variables. Click on this. Click on this. We should be able to edit our path variables here. So let's add CUDA NN. So we're going to copy the path to the bin folder right here. Copy as path. I believe for system variables, I'm going to just go to path. We're going to add the path to the CUDA NN bin here. Press OK, press OK, press OK. And that should be everything for the CUDA NN installation. So I can now close out of this and close out of this. Now, to install TensorRT, you install the zip folder. Once that's done, go back to the installation documentation. And go down to zip file installation. So we have CUDA 8.4.1 installed now. Now we have to unzip the file. Okay, that's all fine. So now we have to unzip the TensorRT. Extract. So there are two ways that we can do this. Uh, but I prefer path B as it's much easier. But basically, we're just going to copy all the DLL files from lib to our CUDA installation directory. So we're going to copy all the DLL files from lib to bin. <clears throat> this is fairly easy. Just going to open back up the file. So here is our tensorrt. I have 1.6 1. open here. Tensorrt. So we have to copy everything from lib. I accidentally took all of the files. We're only supposed to take the DLL files and we're only supposed to copy it. So click on all the DLL files. I'm going to control C, click over here, control V. Okay. Now that I copied all our DLL files and it should already be in path. Install one of the TensorRT Python wheels. So now we have to install one of these wheels. To do this, we have to go to TensorRT, go over to Python. Now try all of these paths, but basically you'll just be running this command over and over again with each path being different. So I'm going to open a new terminal here. I'm going to copy this command. I'm going to paste this command here. And now I'm going to copy the path of one of these. So you can try each one. Uh, not, not all of them. One of them are bound to work. So I'm going to copy this path. Paste it here. Press enter. Okay, that one doesn't work. I'm going to do the same thing again. Just copy this. Go and paste it. I'm just going to actually run this 
so it's not going to work, but that I can just do this. I'm going to copy the path of the next one. Copy path. Paste it. Run it. That one doesn't work. Copy the next one. Copy path. Paste it. Run it. Not working. Copy the next one. Copy. Copy as path. Paste it. Run it. And this seems to be the correct package as it ran through with no errors. So once you're done that step, you can go back to the documentation, go on to the next one. To verify your installations are working, you don't actually need to do this step. If you're using TensorFlow or PyTorch, we have to do this step. We are using PyTorch, so we have to do this step. So we have to do copy, we have to do the same thing. So copy this, I'm just going to paste it in here, oops, I didn't copy it, I'm going to paste it, I'm just going to run it, but it's not going to do anything, but this will allow me to go up here, remove the three at the end here, run it again, oh, I'm just running it, so I can just use the arrow keys to navigate back to it, so with it back here, I'm going to go back to Python, this time we have to install Graph Surgeon. So click on Graph Surgeon, copy this path, paste it, enter. It installs it perfectly fine. Let's do the same thing for the next one. So the next path we're doing is UFF. So UFF. Copy this path, paste it, paste it, run it. Okay, there you go. That one's installed. And one last one. We are doing ONNX, ONNX Graph Surgeon. So to do this one, just go back here. Go to ONNX Graph Surgeon, copy this path, paste it, and that should be the installations complete. Okay. So that should be the installations complete. I'm going to test that they're complete in a second. And I will show you how you can export your model into the engine version, which will allow the model to run possibly two times faster or about like a 60 to 90% improvement in inferencing speed. I will see you in a second. Okay, so we are going to export our current model, which is in PyTorch format, into a Tensor RT format. Now, here are the different um, exports that you can do. You can export it into TensorFlow Lite, but for our purposes, since I have an NVIDIA GPU, Tensor RT is the best way to go to improve our speed. So, to begin exportations, scroll down here. It should be Python export weights and just copy this. Open your VS Code, go to a new terminal, and paste it. So, we need to replace export.py with, I believe, lower v5 export.py path, copy relative path. I'm going to paste that path here. And our weights file is not called v 5 but it's called best. So your model should be called best or whatever it's named down here. Just replace that with the name here. And we are going to include engine. Now we're going to add a few more settings. So we're going to add device equal device zero so it's going to be running on our gpu and if you really want to make it faster i'm pretty sure you can put half precision on your model I should say you can also do add dash dash half 
to put half precision. Uh, I believe this can improve your model speed, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm, I'll run two different exports. I'll run run with half precision and one without it. And I believe you need to put the motto image size. Uh, let me just check the actual export uh, dot pi. So it's just dash dash image. And then we input a list. So image ZS or image. Then we're going to be a list. It's going to be, for me, it's 736 by 736. You put whatever your image size is running at the moment. So that's going to be mine. I'm going to run it. I'll wait till the exportating is done. Invalid value. Oh. Maybe I don't have to put a list. I'll just put 736 here. Run it. And it's working. Okay, so I'll see you when the exporting is done. Okay, now that our model is done exporting, I'm going to export an additional version, except I'm going to put this one at half precision to uh, show you the differences. Change this, rename, actually, yeah, just copy, paste it, half. Go down to my console, put half. Okay, so the half and the regular model have finished uh, exporting. I will now show you the performance differences between the two. So here is my FPS with best.pt so the pi torch format of my model I'm getting about 35 34 fps now i'm going to switch over to best.engine okay so here i am running best.engine and we just went from 35 fps all the way to 50 fps and now I'm going to run half precision dot engine. So here I am running half precision with recording. All of this is done with recording. And I just went from 50 FPS using non half precision to a solid 60 FPS with recording software on. Now that is all for this video. In the next video, I'll be showing CPU users an option to improve their performance a bit.